Hi, welcome. If you're new, you should know that in these exercise videos, I will break down a simple component and I will put the drawing sheet for you to download for free. Link in the description below. You can just go ahead and download it now before you start watching the video. And I will tell you how to think when you're going to approach a design like that as beginners. By the way, this is SolidWorks tutorials for beginners. And if you're going to learn how to draw a mechanical part, this is the way you have to do it. Having said that, also make sure to check my free webinar, which is perfect for SolidWorks beginners. I share 10 free tips with you to improve your SolidWorks techniques. You can take it with you as a skill forever. Now, without any further ado, let's watch the video. So before I start teaching you how to create this component, I'm going to rotate it around for a second and meanwhile I'm going to cover my design tree so you don't see how many features I have used to create this component. I give you a hint, the component is very simple and the assignment you have to do, you have to figure out is what's the minimum required features to create this component in SolidWorks. So if you want to come up with the answer yourselves, you can download the drawing sheets from the link below, pause the video right here before I reveal the answer, go do it and see if you can create it with less amount of features than I did. Remember, it's not a competition because the less amount of features doesn't necessarily mean better modeling, but this is an assignment that I'm giving you for this video. This is a very simple component. Now, if you're ready to see how many components I've used to create this, this is it. There are only four and I will tell you why I'm going to break it down in this video and this is going to start right now. All right, this is the drawing that I'm gonna put on the screen and later I'm gonna look at it on my second screen. So if you wanna look at it at all times, you have the choice to do a screenshot right now and look at the drawing at all times or the better option is to download it from the link below. So this is the drawing and now I'm moving it here and I'm going to start creating this model. First thing first, if you are a returning viewer, you know that I already told you before we start modeling, we have to break down our component and come up with a strategy. And that strategy usually works best when we break down the component to its main three features. In this case, I will try to look at the front view over here and break it down to its outer geometry that I see five single most important details that I'm going to add after I created the outer geometry. The outer geometry is a straight slot and there is one, two, this curve three, this half slot here four, and this half circle here five. So after I drew this, I would like to finish drawing these features which are fully defined by these dimensions over here. And only then I will move on to break down the extrusion and so on because it's a simple extrusion component. So let's do that first, then I will come back to the drawing again. Starting from front plane, I would like to start with the center slot, this option over here, because having a coordinate system in the middle of the drawing is always beneficial. Then I will continue with a circle here and another slot on this side, approximately like this. Then now I'm going to assign the dimensions necessary. The radius here is 15. The diameter here is 19 and the inner diameter is 15. So I'm gonna use the inner diameter this time instead of the outer diameter. And I will tell you why in future steps soon. I'm gonna take the inner 15 diameter. The distance from here to here is 55. Here to here is 32. And over here, we, we can define the full straight slot by its straight distance. And we already learned that by holding shift on the keyboard, I can select the maximum distance and assign it easily here, 140. What's left is the radius over here, which is 7.5. Now we have our sketch fully defined. Continuing by creating a three point arc over here, first point, second point, third point, smart dimension radius 580. And we have to have one half a slot here. So let's just draw randomly one here. The radius is at two and the length should be 106. Now, it is still underdefined, so I know I have to make it vertical with the center of the drawing. That's why I drew a center slot to do it at this step to save some time for this step. And lastly, I'm going to create this one here with a diameter of 19 or radius of 9.5. After this, we move on to the extrusion. So back to the drawing. Look, by one look at the left view over here or the top view 
or even this section BB. We can see that the component is symmetrical. When I go to detail C, which is a close up look of this cross sectional view, I can see the wall thickness is 2, 2, 2, 2 overall except this distance over here, which is four, double the amount. So it tells me, and it should tell you the same, that you could create only half of the part. And I told you, whenever you see a homogenic wall thickness throughout the component, you are probably working with shell as the feature. So in this case, I would like to only create half of the component and use shell with a thickness of two. Look here, all the dimensions you see here, which are horizontal, are going to be calculated in half. So instead of 20, I'm gonna extrude the whole component 10 and instead of 10 I'm gonna extrude it for 5. This dimension this 5 which only apply to one side is not gonna be half only the dimensions that are addressing the whole extrusion on the component. So this 10 for example that you see here is exactly this height over here and since we are going to create only half of it I'm gonna do 10 for this and 5 for this same for this one 5 and same for this 10 go back to 5. So let me show you first thing first features create an extrusion with a value of 10, that's fine. Now we're gonna reuse this sketch by opening the combo, selecting the sketch, going to the features tab, select extruded boss. Now I'm going to select uh, this area, this half and this one, value five. So this would be the component. Now next we are going to create shell with a thickness of two. You find it here on the features tab. It's a perfect tool to empty your component as long as the value makes sense. In this case, it does. So everything now has a wall thickness of two. Before I continue, I would like to address why I assigned the diameter of the circle 15, because now that I shelled it with a wall thickness of two, I'm adding two here, two here to each side of the radius. Therefore, the outer circle should be 19. If it's not, I made a mistake. So let me check that. The outer diameter is 19. That's fine. The inner one is still 15 according to the drawing lastly very easily you go to the features tab mirror since this is a full solid body assign it to bodies to mirror pick it and select this surface and click ok now this part is completely finished just to make sure you did the right moves go here assign 1060 alloy to your component then i want you to go to evaluate tab go to mass properties and read your mass value you should get 75.89 grams plus minus plus minus one percent and if you get the same value you did it right if not you did something wrong and you can ask me your question all right i hope you liked the video let me know if you have any questions because i answer each and every one of the questions i also have a facebook page you can also post your questions there but youtube would be the best place next week i am going to assign you a more difficult component so we can work our way up step by step and in the meantime don't forget to check the webinar i'm ryan and i'm signing off see you next week take care don't go if you like the video i forgot like and subscribe the video okay just do it.